It is not every day we leave with a cooking segment, but today's big. So in today's kitchen, there's nothing better than a warm and hearty homemade meal, especially when it takes only minutes to make. Just grab a few ingredients, dump them in a oh. pan or baking dish, and cook it. That's it. And here to show us a few of her favorite recipes is Kathy Mitchell, author of Dump Dinners, <laughs> the sequel to her best-selling book, Dump, dump Cakes. Cakes. Hey, Kath, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. I figured I'd give you some real food this time. Thank you, dessert. baby. By the way, what a great you. concept. There's so little... Uh, skill that goes into it. Th there's no right? skill at all. It's actually easier than going through a drive through and taking home dinner. But it is homemade at least. <laughs> right. and Absolutely. Okay, so what got are you some ground beef in there. This is just ground beef. You could use ground turkey if you wanted to. Use a nice lean ground beef so you don't have a lot of fat in it. And we're going to put some pasta in it. Don't so cook the pasta. Lasagna? What are you making? Pasta? I'm making, well, we call it skillet lasagna and I'm using skillet penne. Lasagna. You could use bow ties. You know what I love to use is broken pieces of lasagna. Toss them in there. Oh, fun. You want to add that water? How much water you All of it. Okay, but for folks at home, how much is that about a lot? Uh, okay. I don't know. Cup and a half. Buy the cookbook. I know, buy the cookbook. I love it. <laughs> What's that? Your spring. This is just some seasoning. Uh, it's it's like just those uh, seasoned yeah. salt type things, like Lowry's or right. something like that. But look, we don't have to <coughs> boil me. the pasta in a separate pan, so you don't have to worry about lots of stuff to clean up. We're just going to cover that and let it cook for a while, and in a few minutes, that pasta will absorb all the water, and it'll look just like that. The oh. pasta's done now. So okay. now what we have to do is add a little marinara sauce. You, you can do that for you. Yeah, go Need right ahead. Use it right out of the jar. Use the dump thing. it. Dump it in there. Spread it around a little bit. Okay. We're gonna dump in that to dump mozzarella. Some cheese. Oh, sure. this is looking good. Dump yeah. the cheese. And stir it around again. Stir it around. And then we're going to put on some ricotta. I usually like, kind of like to wait till closer to, to the, the end. end of that. But, oh, get but go ahead swishy. and add it now if you want to. Just a little hoder. Yeah, you can't have any. <laughs> I can't already. I'm making on. a mess here. No, why? That's what we do. All right, well, let's, let's go no. to the finished product because okay, that so we one got a couple more. Okay. what we're going to get. And here you've got it all oh, finished up. That looks delicious. It's delicious. Let, Let me just serve. dig you in there, dig just, in there? Uh, just so we can get going because you've got two more plate. things. Yeah. She can't, hun. She's, it's got, oh, it's it's got, got cheese, cheese in it, but I'm going to oh, watch. Yeah, I just want right. to see it. See what you think. Oh, my gosh. Is that delicious? I can't believe it's so fast. I can't yeah. believe that. Fast, mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. Use what you've All got right, in the what kitchen. what is this next dish? All right, dish? this looks company special, what is this? doesn't it? This chicken. is chicken and wild rice. Chicken and wild rice. So all we're going to do is put in a can of cream soup, whatever kind you like. This is cream, cream of broccoli, mushroom, cream please. of mushroom. Yeah. I, okay. Well, I'm using broccoli because I've got broccoli okay. here, but, you know, whatever. This is a package of wild rice mix. Just dry, not just, cooked. Yeah, just dry. Once and again. we're going to add the water again. And just kind of stir this around a little bit. Let's add the seasoning packet that comes with the, with the wild rice mix. Just sprinkle it on in there. Okay, so and just nothing big. I give it a little this. stir. You don't have to stir too much. But just get it just kind, of, kind of mixed around a little bit. And then we're just going to go ahead and add our chicken pieces to it. You just plop those Just plop, plop them right inside. In. The rice is going to absorb the liquid. The chicken's going to cook. The broth is going to cook. That's the secret to all of this, is that the water, the, uh, the rice, and the pasta are doing the work. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and we've got some... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Some broccoli pieces. Now, is that raw broccoli? Or? This, is, this is frozen broccoli, frozen. actually. And you could use the smaller pieces if you That's want to. But this makes amazing. it beautiful. And then we're just going to top up with Burning. some cheese, cover it with some foil. That looks so, so you good. Cover it about, with foil yeah. and then you... And about okay. an hour, you've got Look at that this. right there. This is crazy. Do I have to try it again? I think I guess do. you do. Because we keep forgetting. Next here. time, I'm going to make something with I no cheese. Right, go on to the next one. I'll try it, okay? Come on down here because I'm seeing nice. This is actually my favorite thing to make because I... It's all stuff I can keep on hand at yeah. home. This is a package of, of biscuits, the refrigerator biscuits. Cut each one of them into about six pieces, toss them in the bottom, cover it with a little marinara sauce, put on whatever you like pizza topping-wise, some pepperoni, some olives, whatever, and some cheese on the top, pop it in the oven for about 45, no, 25 minutes, and that's what you've got, a beautiful deep dish pizza. <laughs> it is so good. And if you just, Some, just nobody got to, us a I knife. I see what Kathy's doing. She's cut the chicken with whatever that thing. cutting the cheese. All right. <laughs> that was, by Kathy the way. Kathy stew. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, so good. These recipes, you guys, Delicious. are all on our website, <laughs> klgandhoda.com. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Coming up, he is the son of a preacher man, and when he speaks, <laughs> even Justin Bieber listens. We'll get to know the hip young pastor and best-selling author, Judah Smith, coming up right after this. Mm. I can't believe